Fear is the most dangerous thing to operate in. By virtue of their skin, black males are seen as a threat. My name is Tanya Jefferson Lynch, and I am the creator and producer of the Black Light Project. The Black Light Project simply is a photography and documentary project based upon black males showing them in a positive light. We highlight 16 black males from our local community who are just outstanding because they are just who they are. What we wanted to show to the world was that black males are contributors. They're innovators, they're fathers, they're, they're sons. They are people who are involved in their community. They love their communities. As opposed to so much of the negative things that we see in the media regarding black males. brother, big brother. He is stronger than he may conceive. When he begins to believe, he will let the flash be his own. He will illuminate, expose, groan, birth, brazenly break, ever bind, ever known, that attempted to harness his life. Black light. I found that there was a need to create the Black Light Project, frankly, from my own personal background. I am the mother of five black sons. Three are teenagers. And they're at that age where they no longer look childlike. I realized the world saw them very, very differently. You know, we'd seen the stories of Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, Ferguson, Michael Brown, and just so many other stories, and specifically the ones that centered around young black males. I just felt very afraid. With the Black Light Project, what I really wanted to share was black men as I know them. The way many of us who encounter black males, we know them to be awesome, but so often they're forced into these small pockets of knowledge. This particular subject is important to me, especially with the times we live in now. I want people to feel the, the exact message that this project is about. This is a, a black person that it's not a mugshot. All black people are not what I'm used to seeing on TV. When a black person dies or he gets in a shootout, it's usually, this is how he screwed up and this is how we're gonna portray him. This is all we're gonna remember him for. To really portray someone that, that this is what their entire life was about, I think that's horrible. So what I love about the Black Light Project is we get a fighting chance to say, that's not what we're all about. Everyone matters, but at the same time, we're shining a light on black people. I'm a makeup artist. You know, I have a family, I love my mom, I love my brothers, I'm dating, I'm in love with her. But nothing separates me from another black gentleman the same age as me when it comes to the importance of my life, the value of my life. There's no separation between it. So regardless of who I am or what I believe or what I'm about, it doesn't matter. So I think that narrative has got to be changed even if it's, it's a process. There are folks outside of the black community that have been fed a certain type of directive about the black community and in particular black men and how that relationship goes from black man to black son and how they carry out their lives. And this allows people to know what the truth is from the black male perspective. And I think it's gonna challenge a lot of people who already have a preconceived notion about what black men are, what they do, I saw the black light as actually shining a light on positive aspects that we contribute to society. A lot of times people see black men and they have a certain view of fear. As a black person, you have this conversation every parent has with their child. When you leave the house, if you get stopped, you get pulled over, you do not make any false moves, you do not move fast, you make sure you're very compliant, you do whatever they ask you to do. 
make sure they see your hands at all times. That's like standard conversation for a black home. Oh, brother, brother, brother. That's far too many I got rights, you know what I'm saying? So he can't do this. No, we don't, you know, we, we understand we got rights, but we also understand that the system wasn't really set up for us in the beginning. What's going on? There's been a lot of progress, but it's still a long way that we got to go as far as equality, equal treatment. For only love can conquer hate. We don't really teach our kids the heritage and the culture and the contributions that we've actually made to society. They would never know that the first heart surgeon was a black man. And it's our job to teach them and let them know you actually are made out of something. You come from a heritage of people that they have overcome so many things and continue to overcome stuff and resilient. Uh, working on this project was big for me because uh, it allowed me to shine my light on the cast members and help tell their story and help shape the narrative that we can control with our own media. Putting a voice to the pictures is one thing I get out of videography is that it tells the story. You get to be more emotionally attached to what you're hearing or what you're seeing. Also, as they say, if a picture say a thousand words, then what can the video do? The Black Light Project did a great job in taking everyday heroes of our community and using the art and using the storyline to actually bring it together so people can see these brothers are doing great things in their communities. I work in an elementary school, and so for me personally, it allows us to be seen in a positive role to other black boys. I do it for the modeling that I'm able to do. When I see these young men grow back up and see me later and say they're doing great things in their lives, or, you know, thank you for the small words of encouragement that you gave them along the way. That's what kind of impacted me. What I say to most of my young brothers that I, that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis, you are not defined by your environment. You are not defined by what society says you have to be. You are somebody. You were created to be somebody. Live in the purpose you were created to be. Find a way to live in your purpose and don't let anybody challenge you or change you on that. Mm -hmm.